Howdy, howdy, howdy. We are doing something completely different today. In the past, most of my tutorials have been tutorials on mechanics of the jaw harp, mechanics of the instrument, how to play the instrument, and not so much the theory or the mindset of it. Now I'm going to go into something that I've been wrong a lot in the past, and I started off uh, playing the harp, and as I started to play the harp, my mind began to close. Harps are a wide spectrum of sounds and percusses and melodics and breath and combinations of timing that are infinitely endless. But as I started to play the instruments, especially initially for the first year or two, in of, amongst this large spectrum of what could be on the instrument, my field of focus, my mind began to close and I narrowed in on a very small part of it, just on breath and just on rhythm. And I think that's true for a lot of people that when you initially first begin playing, your ego starts coming in. As soon as you construct your first song and come up with your first sounds, your ego comes in. It's like, oh, well, these are the things. You latch on to these parts that you know, and your mind begins to close. You build this box around yourself, and it's difficult to get outside of the box. And especially when you start playing very, very saturated musical instruments where the tones and the qualities of it are very, very apparent. <laughs> In a saturated, really sensitive instrument, everything appears to be easier or everything is more apparent. And instruments like Morchang and wooden instruments, they're not oftentimes as loud and as sensitive or as saturated, but there's beauty in that because the fundamentals of the instrument, the drone of the instrument tends to shine through. And I've always described them as being more difficult to play. And here recently, this is a Susap. This is a very, very ancient style of musical instrument. It's still played in Papua New Guinea, I believe. This is made by Steve Kinwald. And I recently on social media, I, I shared a picture of one of these by Steve Kinwald. Very beautiful picture. He's a master player and maker of these instruments. And, I, and somebody commented and said, what is this? What, what's it about? And I said, well, it's a Susap. It's an ancient style of musical instrument. And it's it's difficult to play, but Steve Kinwald's a master of it. And he can instruct you better than I can on it because I'm still very much a beginner on the Susap. And Steve commented back and he said, they're not difficult to play. They're just a different mindset. And I kind of I kind of sat back. I'm like, oh, I like that. A different mindset. And I've been thinking all week, that was earlier this week when that occurred, and I've been thinking all week about different mindset. And I'm like, I think that my difficulty in playing this musical instrument is my inability to think out of the box. I, in playing all these steel and brass harps, I've constructed a box for me to think in. And here's all the things that work when I go on a wooden instrument, and I'm not very good on this yet. We'll just, we'll just give it a try here. I've constructed this box for myself to think in on an instrument that's in steel where it's really sensitive and saturated. Everything is there. Everything is easier for me because I have these go-tos, these things that I normally do on the instrument when I play a very old school wooden style of instrument. All the things that I used to latch onto aren't there, so my ego comes in and then my ego starts saying, oh, well, this isn't working. It's not me. It's the instrument. And I used to make a lot of excuses for myself. I used to very much dislike Morchang as well. And now Morchang are my favorite style of instrument because when I used to pick up a Morchang and play it, especially back when I was only used to rhythmic, breathy play, that style of play wasn't as readily available on the harp. And I'd be like, oh, it's Morchang. I just don't like Morchang. And my ego comes in and starts playing. Well, I've been playing a year or two. Um, it's, it's not me. It's the instrument. Um, and I used to make all sorts of excuses. And from... Um, People who come to me for help, they, they make the same excuses that I would make uh, when the ego comes in and you say, the instrument's too small, or the reed is too flexible, or the reed is too stiff, or it's not loud enough, or it's not sensitive enough. And I think when we do that, when we let our ego come in and tell us these things, instead of opening up our mind and thinking like, oh, this difference in the instrument is a unique opportunity to grow not only technique, but grow song structure because so much of the time, myself and others included, they'll say, and myself, I've said, 
I'm latched into the same rhythms and the same song, and every song sounds the same, but anytime I encounter a, a harp or an instrument that's different than what I'm used to, I'm like, oh, well, it's too small, it's not loud enough, it's too stiff, it's too flexible. I instead now, I want to think of these things as opportunities for growth and opportunities to grow outside of the songs I normally play, because if we open up our mind, it's so easy to close our mind and get in this mindset of this is the style that I play. These are my rhythms. These are the, my go-tos. Instead, I want to change my mind. I want to be more open. And this is a, this is going to be a long, rambly video anyways, just on theory and on mindset. Bruce Lee once said a good quote. I can't remember it verbatim, but he said, if you can be anything, be water. Water fills any vessel and it responds to pretty much anything. So my advice to you in instruments and in the jaw harp is to open up your mind. When you encounter something with a harp and you say, now there's going to be obvious differences. If you're playing a toy harp, you're going to be very limited. But if you're playing a new style of harp and it's not playing exactly like you're used to and you're thinking, oh, it's too much of this or it's too little of that or this isn't there, or this thing's there, or this drone that I don't know what to do with, or this buzz that I don't know what to do with. I want you to think of it as an opportunity for growth and as an opportunity to branch out and do something entirely different with the instrument. I forgot where I'm going. Let's have a sip of caffeine. I get so deep in a ramble that I lose it. So I want you to open your mind because my main goal in the future isn't going to be like, oh, well, I have this many musical instruments or I've been playing X amount of years. That's my ego speaking. And I know that others struggle with this as well. If you say, well, I've been doing this for this long or I've done this or blank, 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 A, blank, 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 B. If we say that, your ego is blinding you to what could be. There are a ton of possibilities with every musical instrument. I encourage each and every one of you to go outside of your comfort zone and play an instrument that you dislike and embrace it. Don't fight with the instrument. Don't say, oh, this isn't working. Play the instrument and let your mind be open. Let your mind and your body dance with the instrument and work with the instrument and not against it. Because my goal in the future is to be able to pick up not just one style of, of harp, but be able to pick up any harp, whether it be two sticks and a leaf. I want to be able to make magic on it. That's where I want to grow into in the future and anyways the, the old school style of musical instruments and Steve Kinwald saying that these instruments are a different mindset. I'm going to see if I can find some of his YouTube videos and put them below because he will take very old school style musical instruments and make absolute magic on them. Anyways, that's just a good ramble or a good theory. I don't know if any of this babbling information and theory about harps was even coherent but thank you so much for tuning in keep your harps clean keep them dry keep them oiled i love y'all be good to each other keep your mind open and you're gonna grow on the instrument adios <laughs>